Teardown time. This is a transit card. It's a disposable card that you get from a transit company. And uh, what happens is you place it next to a sensor. It uh, recognizes who you are and allows you to uh, take a journey, which almost certainly means there's a lot of electronics sitting inside this card. And if I put a bright light behind it, I can instantly see there's all sorts of neat things. There's an antenna pattern here, which almost certainly allows energy to be injected into this card and a signal extracted. And more importantly, there's probably an integrated circuit somewhere up here. So first things first, I've never de-encapsulated an integrated circuit with a bucket of water, but uh, here we go. Let's uh, let that sit overnight and see what happens. Okay, well after soaking for 24 hours, uh, the paper had loosened considerably on both sides. I took a small X-Acto knife there and sort of peeled it off. It looks like there's a uh, standard card in the middle of this uh, transit pass and uh, I guess each transit system customizes it for their own use. Uh, well, okay, this is turning into an extremely interesting card. Let me just put this uh, thing under the uh, light table here so it's easier to read the word Micron. Uh, Micron is a Russian company, as near as I can tell. Let me pop up their web page, and they seem to indicate they uh, do RFID chips, inlays, cards, which, of course, this is exactly what it is. So, ha, not, not expected at all. It's going to be fascinating to take uh, this uh, integrated circuit off and see if we can sort that down. Okay, well here's the heart of the card. Uh, it's uh, obviously um, some silver ink and uh, there's actually a little semiconductor here. Um, it is absolutely fascinating. Uh, one colliery of engineering, the super cheap things and the super expensive things is where the engineering gets very interesting. Now this is an example of building something that is super cheap uh, and having a, a good functionality. Um, the silver traces, let's uh, zoom in with a microscope. We've got two possibilities here. Either they punch this out on a metal film and they adhere it, or they print it on with uh, some sort of conductive ink. And with the microscope, you can see the margins of the uh, side traces, uh, sort of strongly indicating it's been painted on, so it's a painted process. Okay, reverse engineering time. Uh, looking at a die photograph here, it looks like it's a four pad integrated circuit. It's really small, 0.5 millimeters uh, by 0.4 millimeters. Uh, first thing you have to do to figure out what in the world you're looking at is to find the part number. It's often on the die. And uh, just zooming into here on the corner of the chip, I can find an MF0UL1. And that's a uh, part number from NXP Semiconductor. I'll just pop that up. Uh, it is a part of a family of uh, cards designed for a protocol called uh, MyFair, which is, of course, designed for transit systems. Um, this one has a whopping 640 bits of memory. Uh, but, of course, that's all you really need. You don't need a lot of sophistication here. Uh, you're just trying to identify somebody uh, and allow them on the bus. It's a single-use card, uh, so I don't think there's a huge amount of reprogrammability in this uh, particular um, example. Uh, popping over to the uh, data sheet, we can find the uh, diagram of the uh, dial layout, and uh, it tends to confirm that uh, we're looking at the same thing, so the physical dimensions seem to be matching. Uh, popping over to the block diagram also uh, gives us some sort of indication of what we're looking at. Uh, there's going to be an EEPROM, there's going to be some logic, some RF here. Uh, let's just zoom back out to the chip. Um, the bits in the center there uh, is uh, almost certainly random logic. We'll zoom a little bit in here, having that classic uh, sort of random looking uh, pattern to it. Uh, zooming out onto the uh, right side there, this looks like an EEPROM, 640 bits. It's built right for such a small size semiconductor. And then just popping on the top there, uh, the uh, RF section of the chip. So. Well, there we go. NXP is a company that was uh, spun off from Philips, if I recall. It was a Dutch company. Uh, that uh, paper substrate is a company called Micron. They are out of Russia. Uh, who knows where they actually assembled all this and printed out the uh, particular transit system's uh, information, but eventually it made its way here to North America and uh, had a single use.